Welcome to iLecture Online and here I'm going to show you how to take the derivative of the cosine of x by doing it in an algebraic fashion. Uh, by definition, the, uh, def the, the derivative of any function is equal to the function evaluated at value x plus a small little delta called h minus the function evaluated x all divided by the small change uh, h. And so let's evaluate that to get the derivative of the cosine of x that way. All right, again, here we have to use the uh, trigonometric identity of the sum of two angles for the cosine, which can be written as the limit, as h goes to zero, of the cosine of x times this, oh, not the sine, it's the cosine of x times the cosine of h, <clears throat> minus the sine of x times the sine of h. So that's the trigonometric identity that's equal to the cosine of the sum of two angles. And of course, we have to then subtract minus the cosine of x and divide the whole thing by h. Now again, the trick here is to realize that you have a cosine of x here and you have a cosine of x there. So we can factor out a cosine of x out of those two terms. So this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of the cosine of x times we have the cosine of h minus, if you factor out a cosine of x there, you get 1 we still have this here, which is minus the sine of x times the sine of h, all over h. <clears throat> all right, then we're going to separate this into two fractions. And so this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of the first one, which is a cosine of x times the cosine of h minus 1 over h. And that's going to be minus the limit <clears throat> as h goes to 0 of the remaining, which would then be the sine of x times the sine of h over h. There we go. And actually, I probably want to put parentheses around that so you can see that we're going to associate these two together when we take the limit of that. And I'll put brackets around it again to make it a little more clear. All right. Now... The theory goes that if you take the limit as h goes to 0 of the cosine of h minus 1 over h, that that is equal to 0. So this then becomes equal to the cosine of x times 0 minus, and if you take the limit as h goes to 0 of sine of h over h, that is equal to 1. And so that then is equal to minus the sine of x <clears throat> times 1. Of course, since it's multiplied times 0, this goes to 0. And the answer then is the derivative, the ddx or the derivative with respect to x of the cosine of x is equal to the minus the sine of x. And that's number two. Four more to go. All right, let's move on to the next one.